All right, let's return to our earlier story. The truck attacks continue. Three trucks have been set alight by unknown suspects along the R574 road between Leidenberg and Sekukune in Limpopo. Limpopo police spokesperson Malasela Ledwaba says a group of six gunmen stopped the truck drivers and ordered them to disembark their vehicles. Ledwaba says the gunmen proceeded to burn the trucks before fleeing. For more on the story, we're joined by news reporter Koketso Matao for the latest developments. Uh, Koketso so, uh, sure, you've got the uh, wreckage behind you. Uh, what are authorities saying at the moment and how's the road looking? Thank you so much and good afternoon to you and good afternoon to the viewers. I can tell you that, yes, uh, according to the information that we got from the authorities that they are now investigating a case of arson and malicious damage to property. We, as you've already mentioned on your introduction, is that six gunmen, actually six men, have ambushed this, uh, the, the driver of this uh, truck behind me and, of course, you know, forced him to stop along this uh, road that is connecting uh, Limpopo and Mpumalanga through Leidenberg. So they actually, you know, two of those um, uh, six, uh, six men, uh, you know, uh, apparently they, 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 were, they, they pointed the, the driver with the gun and instructed him to stop along the road and also block this uh, road uh, that is linking Mpumalanga and Nimpopo. That's when actually uh, they burned this truck and also uh, affect the, the fire from this truck it also affected the other two trucks. So three trucks in total were actually affected yesterday as um, those uh, incidents uh, um, you know, took place. We understand that it happened around um, um, the afternoon yesterday, that's when the truck was set alight and the police are telling us that indeed they are investigating a case of uh, arson. And I can tell you that now, yes, the, the, one of the wreckages the wreck are still here, uh, but only two trucks were, were removed yesterday. And today, uh, this one is still carrying the chrome. According to, in, to the information from the police is that this truck was actually delivering a chrome from the local mine when this incident occurred. So, Koketso, you say uh, police are on the case, but no suspects, nobody in custody. We're, we're hearing that again and again across all the cases, right? Seems like I've lost you. I don't know if you can hear me, but if you can hear me on your side is that we've just arrived in this area and we're trying to establish what actually transpired and we are going to speak to the motorists around this area just to find out what is their reaction there and also to, you know, um, speak with the police to find out if there is any lead that can lead to the arrest of these people and they're also calling upon the uh, members of the public there to say that they must come forward with any information that can lead to the arrest of these perpetrators as we know that already this incident uh, didn't only occur here in Limpopo we also heard about what has transpired in Mpumalanga and also in the Kwazulu Natal but for now let's get back to you in studio. All right, thank you very much, Kokekso Motal. And uh, yes, he couldn't hear me, but answered the question. Uh, no arrests have been made. We know that some roadblocks have been set up, uh, but the perpetrators across all these truck attacks seem to be very, very elusive at the moment. Uh, we'll follow that for you.